I was in the Marines for oh. four years with uh, First LAR. It's uh, light armor reconnaissance. We uh, we were a mounted unit. We rode around in LAVs as eight wheeled vehicle with a uh, 25 millimeter cannon on it. If we would got into an area with uh, that was with suspected IEDs or there's IEDs there before, we would patrol in front of the vehicle looking for the IEDs, or we would just do dismounted patrols ourselves. I was in the army. I was drafted. We slept under poncho liners or ponchos. Snap two ponchos together. Before that, they used to sleep in hammocks, but they changed the operation where you had to sleep down on the ground. Well, they use uh, GPS now. We had a. Uh, we had laser rangefinders on our vehicles, so we could lay something. It'll tell us how far away it is. And I think, I think one of the good things is you, you learn what, uh, found out what real teamwork is. Uh, you know, support each other. Fifty-eight thousand killed in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. And the 15 years of Afghanistan, he had a thousand. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh it's it's diminished the the amount of casualties to be taken a lot, and that's that's both uh, being able to find and destroy the enemy and the medical advancements since then. It's six to seven guys in each vehicle that we all have our entire lives inside of it we've been out of. And then the second time around we got to uh, stay on the, on the cop, the compound, compound outpost where we actually lived in tents and we had uh, phone and internet access. And made it much more efficient. The, the part, part of it is just who we're fighting now. But, you know, stay engaged. You get, you know, too slack and not paying attention when something's coming up. It's long, long periods of boredom with very short periods of high intensity. I don't think you can explain it in a way that anyone can really understand. Or it doesn't matter how often you explain it to them, or how much they understand, they can't fully comprehend that until they've experienced it.